Hi guys. So I wanted to tell you about some new changes that are going on with me career-wise. Um, so I actually voluntarily quit my job at the nursing home um, the other day because it was turning into another situation that was more bullying and I will talk more about that in a separate video if you guys are interested in hearing about it. Um, which I'm sure you guys will be, so I'm just going to go ahead and record um, me explaining the whole situation to you guys and what was going on with the bullying and all of that stuff just so that you guys are aware of what was going on and so that you guys don't judge me for making the decision that I made to quit um, my job at the nursing home. So I already have another full-time job making... Um, basically around the same amount per hour as I was making at the nursing home, only now I'm doing home health. So I have one patient and, um, you know, it's just him and I don't work midnights anymore. I actually, today is Tuesday and I don't have training for that until Thursday. Thursday's shift is only four hours, and then I start, like, my actual full-time shifts um, on Sunday, and so, you know, it's just home health. Like I said, I have one um, patient, and I will be with him full-time. Some nights, I'll be there seven hours. Some days, I'll be there nine hours. Some days, I'll be there eight hours. It all just depends on the needs and how it works out with the other um, the other aid that is assigned to him um, because there's two of us that kind of cover him because he is supposed to have people there 14 hours a day. So I am basically the day aid and then he has another one. Um, so for the most part, I'm like 8 to 3, 8 to 4, 8 to 5, somewhere around there depending on the needs. And a couple of them I work until like 6 p.m. And then on this schedule, there's one day when I work 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. So it's not really that difficult. Um, I won't be working overnights anymore. And that kind of works better with my family as far as um, my husband. And when my stepson is over, um, I will eventually get to be um, every other weekend. But for the first two weeks, I work both of those weekends. So she did tell me though that after, um, after that, I will mostly be every other weekend unless the other um, aide that is caring for him goes on vacation or requests time off or something like that. Then obviously I would have to cover that weekend because he still needs coverage. He still needs help. Um, so basically, like I said, I quit my job at the nursing home and. Um, I have no intention of ever stepping foot inside a nursing home again as a CNA. It's too much. Like, if you have worked in a nursing home, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just much too much. I absolutely loved a lot of the residents that I worked with and, you know, some of my co-workers. Um, most of the nurses and CNAs that I worked with on the night shift were fine. It was just day shift and evening shift that treated me like shit and I had had enough. So, like I said, be looking out for that other video kind of explaining the situation a little bit more and maybe answering your questions about the whole bullying situation. Because you guys know if you've been on my channel for a while that I went through this at another nursing home. Um, so, I'm kind of looking forward to doing home care just because I think that it would be a nice refreshing change for me. Um you know, just to be able to go away from facility work and, you know, work with somebody in the home. Um, I went today and it was supposed to be like an interview, but basically all she did was ask me if I'm a CNA, if I had a TB test done, if I have my CPR certification and all of that stuff um, and how long I've been a CNA and that was all the questions that she had for me and then she had me fill out like a stack of papers like this thick um which is basically my new hire papers and she gave me my schedule before i even walked out of the building this morning um i believe my interview was at nine i walked in the building at eight forty-five, and i was done 
just before 11. So that's just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how long it took me to fill out like all of the new hire paperwork plus get my schedule and have her explain like the timesheets and all this other stuff to me um, because it was kind of like I filled out my new hire paperwork and then I also did like their little orientation um, and I knew that it was going to be like a quick start thing just because I had been talking with the hiring person um, for this company on Facebook because I actually applied for the job through Facebook um, and she told me you know they have full-time work available but they needed somebody to start like within a couple days like they needed to have somebody hired for the position with training starting on Thursday like I said today is Tuesday she and I talked about this on Monday so you know I knew it was gonna be a quick start sort of thing um, and honestly I have no problem with that I'm kind of looking forward to being a day shift person um, with a little bit of evening shifts thrown in there just because I feel like it's gonna be a nice change and to be able to kind of spend time with my husband when he gets off work um, and, you know, I'll get off work and then I'll be able to go pick him up from work and then we can both go home together. And, you know, it kind of works out good that way um, because I do bring my husband to work um, until he gets his license reinstated. Um, so it is what it is. But I'm just looking forward to hopefully a much better time at this job and like I said I'll be making almost exactly the same amount that I would be making at the nursing home and I'll just have one patient to take care of um, although I will be doing certain things for his wife because this um, my patient does live with his wife and so she has like a list of things that she likes um, the aides who are taking care of her husband to do um, sometimes you know it's laundry, sometimes it's errands, shopping, stuff like that. It just depends on if she's been able to go out and get the groceries or things like that. So it's not really a big deal. Um, I'm just kind of looking forward to the whole home health, home care type of thing. So let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, stay tuned for that video about the whole bullying situation. I am probably going to um, go eat something and then I'll film that video. So... Um, You'll probably see me in this same outfit. But um, anyways, that doesn't really matter. But I'm going to film it. So if you're curious about the whole bullying situation at this nursing home, then I will talk to you guys and explain it all to you in detail. Um, thank you guys for being so supportive and wish me luck on my new adventure.